Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in Elm Creek. That one. Oh, the blue, there was literally just one blue bale on there and then it changed again. Now we've got a whole load of reds coming out. This is how random the randomness is, like it, it, it's proper random. And here's that one. So we've got two more bales. I'm going to pick up the two orange ones. Get that one there. And then that one there. And then we can go and take these on up. And tip them out. We'll tip them on the hill. We're going to try and tip as many as we can on that hill over there. And then when we've gone forward until January, we'll be ready to go and sell all of those bales. And we will make an absolute fortune out of them. And hopefully by that time we'll have an auto load trailer that we can also put the straps on. See this trailer right here. I'm wondering if you can like if you've got to load bales onto that back flatbed um railway carriage rather than putting it loose. Do the others take it loose or not? Not even sure if the other ones would accept loose silage into them anyway. Uh, there, there may not. There, there may not be any kind of an option to do that. Right, let's tip you up here a minute. Love this. He's right. The, the, this is seriously cool. This is seriously, seriously cool. Right, what I want to do is I want to try and have these bales close together. So I don't want to drive too fast as I'm backing out. Sort of push them in like there we go that's looking pretty good let's see if we can do that repeat that again with the next bales that we do the mower he's got another couple of passes left before he finishes this one up in seconds over here baler is doing fine the mower is actually up here he doesn't look like he's missing any which is even better that's that's fantastic it means we haven't got any tidy up work to go back and do and then after we've done the silage, the next thing for us to do, we kind of need to just stay on top of anything that needs to be sold from greenhouses and the likes. But I don't think that we've got much that we need to worry about there just yet. Um, we can go and check. We've got no animals. We've got no pigsty. We need to wait until the crops are harvested before we can do that. Water in here. I've got 10,000, 10,000 and 10,000. So we've got nothing that we need to worry about there. This one we definitely leave inactive i've had comments saying that we can leave that inactive we don't need to worry about it um it works exactly the same whether it's active or inactive no difference whatsoever i kind of want another field of grass now are there any more fields of grass like this this is fun i'm enjoying this i'm having fun doing this what else have we got let's let's turn on the green there these fields are all empty there's grass. All of those little fields up there are grass fields. We could sort of put all of those together, I suppose. But that's it. If we were going to do another one, I guess we'd do field 70 over here. Like that one just over there. It's another great big field there. So we'd, we'd have to go and plant it. I, I don't think we will. We, we won't. We can always come back and do this one a set for a second cut if we want to. If we're really enjoying it that much, we, we could come and do that. Uh, you over there... Just dump that green... No, that shouldn't be in the way. We're coming back here. Oh, he just missed it. His weather is going to be in the way on the next pass, but I don't think it will. That will be... It'll be far enough up then that it won't make any difference. And amazingly, it's picked up just about every single little bit of silage down this side. It's only down the other end that it hasn't been picking up the silage. And that's quite remarkable in my book I think I think that's quite impressive I'll just wrap up another one there I'm just look, waiting to see if the color changes again I'm sure if it will I've never has anyone ever used a rake oh there we go we've got a, a, a rather nice lilac color coming out next has anybody ever used a rake like this one on the front because I've never I've seen them this configuration I've seen this type of rake before but only on a horse drawn rake I've seen a horse-drawn one working just like this. I've seen video of one like this, but uh, being pulled by a Massey 35. 
Um, so quite an old one. Uh, but other than that, I've never seen a rake like this. I've definitely never seen one that's configured like this to be on the front of a tractor and operated in this kind of way. I've never, ever seen anything like this before. Not in real life. And I haven't seen any videos of it either. Now, it might just be because I haven't watched the right videos. I'm quite happy to accept that. That um, is frequently the case. So if anybody has ever used these or knows of people that do use something like this, Please let me know. I would love the fact. I would love it if this was a, a real thing, if this is a, a, a genuinely real thing, because this is a rake that you can actually use on the front of the tractor. This isn't a setup like the three mowers joined together we had in F17, uh, F19, which unfortunately we don't seem to have in this version of the game. We don't have the three mowers that you can join together in this version of the game, which is really weird. I don't know why we've lost those. But I know a lot of people used to use the three mowers on the front of the tractor. They would put all three of them together on the front and then have a baler on the back or something like that. Uh, or a rake on the back um, and do it all in a single pass. Um, which I didn't personally like because I didn't think it was particularly realistic. But um, I know there were quite a few people that did enjoy doing that particular configuration. Now let's go over to our mower somewhere here. There we go. Now, you stop right there, which was a little bit premature, really. So let's dump you down like that. Come on. There we go. Dump you down like that. And we'll just finish that bit off. Right, so we can pick these up and shut that one off. Don't think there's anything else that we want to do on there, and I'm not going to worry about doing any more with uh, doing another field or anything. If we do do anything, it would be to come back and do this field again. But I'm kind of thinking now that we probably won't do that, at least not in not this year, because we're going to sort of want to focus on doing the harvest so that we can get our pigs going. So we might just end up leaving the whole grass thing and leave the grass field and everything. But this bad boy right here, let's clean it, shall we? Let's, let's give this one a wash. Yeah, I mean, we might. Red Dead Redemption and Marigolds. I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> I am never going to grow tired of that. I am never going to grow tired of that. Insta-clean right there. It's, it's awesome. That is absolutely brilliant. And it's this one that I want to do now. I'm going to go and get another load of bales. So let's put you down like that. We've got purple and dark green and reds and light greens. We've got all kinds of colors going on here. There is all kinds. This, this random thing is very cool. Right. Bale one. Bale number two. That long because I'm just going to drive up and down like a maniac, grabbing bales wherever I can without slowing down. This is my plan, so I'm just going to keep driving really, really fast. Really testing out the capabilities of the fast track. And right, grab that one. Now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to turn around. And I'm hoping that by the time I get back down here, there we go. Okay. Had a phone call. Had to answer it. Real life does this thing where it interrupts what you're doing and very troublesome. It is. I've tried explaining to real life that it's not necessarily wanted, that it shouldn't be intruding upon our private time like this, but it doesn't seem to listen. So sometimes I, I have no choice and I have to answer the telephone and, um, and speak to people. Um, let's just bring that one around. I could turn the phone off, but no, that, that sometimes the, the, the calls are actually important and I do need to take them like the one that I've just had. So anyway, I'm, I'm not going to be telling you what it's all about because that's nothing whatsoever to do with anybody that's watching. But um, yeah, I, I, I had the phone call. I can tell you that I had the phone call. And let's bring you around here. That is a funny shade of greyish brown. That colour right there, right? 
everybody did it. Everybody has done this. You have, when you were kids, you got the paints, yeah? And you put the paint, you mixed a couple of paints together, and then you wanted to try and change the colours. You mixed a little bit of other paint in, and everybody did it. Everybody mixed the paints together, and, and you, got this, you got the different colours, and you thought this was really cool, and you kept adding colours, and adding colours, and adding colours, until eventually, what you were left with was this colour. This is what it all inevitably turned into, is this kind of brownish, greyish, slightly purple hinted brown. And the paint always went that colour. It didn't matter what you did, once it reached that stage, there was no bringing it back. You could never change it after that. Not Well, you could. You could add in about three gallons of um, different coloured paint. And you might be able to change it, but once it reached that stage, it was game over. You had brown paint, and that's the paint that you were going to use. So you either had to throw it away, or you had to use that paint. That's what's happened right here. Someone was busy making these bales. So they were picking out the color palette for these bales, and they basically just kept adding too much color, and, and then it did that. That's what has happened. Right there. You know the story. Uh, don't tell me that you, you haven't done this. I, I know every single person watching this video has done that at some point. Actually, that's my, my golden rule. This is never given absolute. There is always an exception to the rule. I will state, though, I genuinely do feel sympathy for the people that haven't ever done that. Right? I, I, I'm, I'm certain that there is going to be some of you out there who will be able to prove me wrong and that you're an exception to the rule. Um, but I, I genuinely feel sorry for you. The fact that you haven't done that with the paint, like you, 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 you've never, you, you need to do it. You need to do it. You need to go, go to your local supermarket, and or wherever it is that is nearby that you're able to buy. You just need poster paint. You just, you just need the like the, the, the most basic poster paints, cheap stuff. Um, it doesn't need to be any kind of fancy paint. You don't need expensive paint for this job. You just want cheap paint. And then put it into a pot, squirt a little bit in, and then mix the colours together so you get lovely different colours. You know, the yellows and the greens and the reds and the oranges and so on, and, and it, it's lots of fun. And then keep adding colours to try and change it. And eventually you will get that brown colour. And then you too will have lived that moment that most of us experience in our childhoods. So, I, I yep, you, you need to do it. You need to do it. For those rare few who are watching that didn't experience that as children, you need to do it. You owe it to yourself. You really do. You owe it to yourselves if you have never done this. Now, most of us will have done this and done it to such an extent that we got told off for it, either by parents or by um, teachers. Right? Most of us have done this and then gotten told off for wasting the paint and, and so on and so forth. I got told off by doing this, uh, I definitely got told off by teachers for doing it, and I got told off by my mother as well for doing it. My dad probably wouldn't have cared. He would have just said, well, that's what you got, you, you just have to use that. Um, I'm pretty certain I would have been told off, I'm, I know I've been told off for this by my mum. Definitely would have been told off by my mum when I was a kid for wasting the paint, because now, now all we've got with all of us kids, because I, I got um, a, a few brothers and sisters, and um, so all, all we would have had then is a, a huge great big container of brown paint because I've come along, the genius that I am, and I've put all of the paint into uh, one giant pot. Maybe not all of it, but you know, you, you get the idea, yeah? So you got one kid that has gone and ruined it for everybody else. That was me. That was me with the paint. That was me. Um, I didn't always do it, but I definitely did this more than once. Th this was something that occurred on a regular basis. I know it did. We got pink. We, we got a, a pinkish, purplish kind of colour coming out next. I'm loving this random foil colour. I don't know if anybody can tell, but I, I'm really, really quite sort of giddy about this whole random foil colour thing going on. It's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. I want this in real life. I want this in real life. I want to go and get wrap that is not just the standard four colours of wrap that you get 
Like the, the, the standard four colors. We know what the standard four colors are um, because we get them with most of the others. So let's just go to the bell wrapper and go into here. Your foil color is these. You get white and you get black. And then you got those three colors there. You got pink, which is breast cancer awareness one. Green, I'm not sure if it does actually have anything. And I'm pretty sure blue is something to do with mental illness. Um, uh, so mental health care. Uh, I'm not sure, though. The pink is the breast cancer one. Um, but I have definitely seen all three of these being used at various different places around the country. Green is the most common one. I do see green fairly often. White, I have seen it, but not many people like to use the white around here. Um, there's a lot of black. The reason for not using black is if you're in a place that gets a lot of heat, a lot of um, sunshine... Um, it can get too hot and it can burn the silage. So people will switch to white, but then white has the opposite effect and it doesn't get warm enough. Green it seems to be a happy medium and also white is brilliantly white and it's glary and some people don't like it for that reason. Um, whereas green seems to work. So I do see a lot, if I'm not seeing black, I am seeing a lot of these. And then very occasionally I'll see the blue or the pink. But I don't see all these other, look at all these other colours we got. All the colours of the bow and everything in between. Oh, man. That would be so cool. We had that one and that one, I think. The two different colours in succession. But wouldn't that be awesome? Wouldn't that be absolutely amazing if we could have, like, this this whole colour selection? You go and order yourself, like, 300 um, things of bale wrap. And each one is a different color each one is a random different color like you wouldn't be able to have it so that each bale is a different color you could you could what if the wrap itself was built was was created so that it transitioned through different colors as you were using it how awesome would that be how many farmers out there would be really really annoyed with having rainbow colored packs of wraps so that it literally changes color about once every two and a half bales that'd be so amazing that would be so so cool i would love to see that i really would a so you have a single roll of wrap that transitions through different colors once every roughly two and a half bales worth of wrap something like that that would be amazing that would be so awesome i know a lot of farmers that would think that that was really funny. They, they would like that. They, they would think it would be hilarious. And I know a lot of other farmers who would be really, really annoyed at the, even the concept of it. I know farmers who I could go and say that to, and they would get angry at just the idea of it. They, they would get angry at the fact that, that the idea for this would even exist in the world, right? That's how much it would upset them. They, they would they would rage about this. Just the fact that anyone had even dared to suggest it or even think of such a concept would be enough to make them rage. I mean, these are the same types of farmers who rage at the idea of having pink wrap on their bales. So, you know, you, you, you get them um, with multicolored wrap like this. And then, of course, there are the farmers who have neighbours like that. The, the, the farmers who... I, I know several farmers who've got some really, you know, really good sense of humour. And... But they're the sort who don't like people who are unnecessarily grumpy and miserable all the time. And I know of at least a few who, if they thought their neighbour was going to be grumpy and miserable about uh, brightly coloured bales um, like that... They would deliberately spend extra to go out and get the rainbow wrap so they could wrap their bales with proper rainbow wrap like this. So every bale, every other you know, two and a half bales, whatever, it's, it's changing colour. And then they would carefully stack all of those bales on the side of a hill like I've done over there. Look, we've got that beautiful collection of bales over there. But they would make sure it was in the line of sight of the guy that is doing all the complaining and just generally being miserable in life. Um, just to give him something to look at in the mornings. And then every day, from the moment the silage is made until the end of winter, when the bales are finally used up, he would have to look out and he would see all these brightly coloured bales. I know people who would do that. I would do that. I'm one of them. I will. I freely admit. I will admit to it. I am one of those people. If someone got really angry at the idea of it, it I mean, it, 
if I got on well with the person and he got angry at the idea of the, the, the rap, the, you know, the, the rap, I might use the rap, but I might not necessarily stack them up so that they're right in front of him all the time. If it was someone that I didn't get on with very well, and I really, you know, I, I love the idea of this. I love the idea of my silage bales looking like this. I think it'd be amazing. If I had a neighbor who was making my life a little bit difficult, he was particularly miserable and cantankerous and awkward about just about everything, I would definitely do it. Oh, I so would. I would make, if even if I normally did clamp bait, clamp silage, now this year we're going to try something different. We're going to try round bale. We're, we're going to try, I know it's more expensive. Doesn't matter. We're, we're going to try round bales. We get a rainbow wrap and we're going, we're, we're, we're going all out on it this year. We're going all out on it this year and we're going to stack all of these bales up. So miserable neighbor across the way who's constantly trying to make my life difficult will maybe reconsider what he's doing if he realizes the consequences of his actions. Give him a year to think it over. And then if he keeps being miserable, maybe I'll just keep doing it. Maybe not, because, you know, I just admitted that it's costing us more to make the bales than it is to do the clamp silage. The clamp silage is easier. We got the gear for the clamp silage. We had to get contractors in to do this. But it was worth it for just one year. It was worth it. Totally, totally, absolutely 100% worth it. I would do that. I would definitely do that. I'm all about, I, 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 I'm, I'm very much kind of, you know, live and let live. Um, if someone wants to do something, let them get on with it. If that's how they want to do things, that's fine. Let them get on with it. I, I got no complaints with most things. What really bugs me is people who get angry about someone else's lifestyle, life choices, however they, you know, they get angry about everything. But then they go out of their way to make life difficult for others because they've gotten upset about something. They, they, they're angry about something. So then they start trying to make life difficult for other people. I hate that. I really do. I absolutely despise that. You, you live your life how you want, but don't expect anybody else to go living their life how you want. That's not how it works, Sunshine. They live their life how they want, not how you want. It doesn't matter if you don't like it. Too bad. You don't get a say in that. It's not your life. It's their life. And so if someone is sort of making things difficult for other people, um, bullying as well, I, I absolutely can't stand bullying. I despise bullying in every form. People like that, I go out of my way to make them as miserable as I possibly can. I really despise bullies. If, if someone is bullying, if someone is going out of the way to make someone else miserable, I immediately, it makes me angry. It makes me really angry. And I immediately want to do something to try and level the playing field again. Give them a taste of their own medicine, the whole karma thing. Um, I don't necessarily think that the universe is out there to balance everything out. Um, and that if you do something bad, it will come back. Because the experience has taught me that that's not the case. Um, people do bad things all the time and the universe doesn't balance it all out. But if I can have a hand in, you know, issuing a bit of the balancing act, I am quite happy with that. I really am. I, I am more than happy to go and balance a few things out. So if balancing things out involved <laughs> getting this... I, mean, I realise this is a complete fantasy situation because there is no such rainbow wrap. But if there was, my goodness me, I would definitely go for it. <laughs> but this would be so much fun. This really would. It doesn't even... It, it, doesn't even necessarily have to be because I'm, you know, well, it definitely doesn't have to be, you know, I'm, I'm definitely not going to just do this because I'm trying to get karma for someone else. That's, that's not a reason. The, the main reason I want to do this is because I want, <laughs> I want my stack of silage bales. If I ever have my own farm, I want to have a stack of silage bales that looks like this. How cool would that be? It looks amazing. <laughs> Seriously. This looks absolutely amazing. It looks like a paint factory became sentient and then threw up on them. How cool is it? Seriously. <laughs> let's, get, let's, let's drive over here because then I can like zoom out a little bit while I'm looking at it. We can put the bale. We can put this mower up behind them. And go up here. Right there. Right. Does that not look like a paint factory became sentient? went out for an, a, an evening out, got really, really ill, and then threw up all over these bales. <laughs> it's, they're so cool. I want this! I want this in real life! Why can't this be a thing? 
I need it to be a thing. I'm gonna be painting, but you you watch. I'm I'm gonna be painting bales next. I'm gonna I'm gonna go and and find someone who's got a load of salvage bales and just ask if I can randomly paint them. They're gonna, they're gonna, I'm gonna get some strange looks. I'm probably getting some people shaking their heads and wondering what on earth I'm rabbiting on about right now. But you know, th 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 this is this is how it is. This this I'm a deep. I realise I am a deeply deeply broken man, and there are issues that maybe I need to work through. Um, but this, this this would be freaking hilarious. This this would be amazing. How cool would it be if we could play around with and have bales like this? Like, this would be the best thing ever. There's no denying this. This would be the best thing ever. Just, it would be wondrous. Are we going to be able to get back up the row again before our wonderful new grey bale right there? is deposited out on the ground. I'm thinking possibly not. However, I don't think it's going to be in a way back over there. Also, however, this has worked really well. Like, this has worked amazingly well. We, we've All of the bales that they've been done themselves, I haven't had to go and drive the tractor and baler myself. And we've done this with just basic in-game tools. I haven't used any extra scripts. So what I'm doing right now, so long as this rake and this baler is available on console, then you console players can go and do this. If the baler isn't available, I don't think we've got any other direct bale at the moment. Not um, a continuous feed round baler. I don't think we've got any continuous feed round balers other than this one. So if that one's not on console, then uh, you can't do it unless you do it with square bales, but you'd have to go and wrap them out so that's a bit unfortunate if this one here is not on console there may be another rake that you could do this with if not you'll need to get a front mounted mower and do it with that instead but that's not a major problem using front mounted mower um wait what was the mower that we were looking at using it wasn't actually a mo uh, it wasn't on here it was there, there was a mower that we i looked at that i didn't think was going to work oh no it was because of the rake but was the did the mower itself leave oh it was that one but it doesn't leave it, it there isn't an option to leave it into a windrow that goes into the middle unfortunately so although this one is designed to go on the front of the tractor rather than on the back um, it doesn't leave it in a windrow, which means that this mower here wouldn't actually be suitable for it. So the for mower options, you would if you can't use the rake that we're using, you'd have to have something like that one, which does leave it, I think, in a yeah, that does leave it in a little bit of a windrow. So you've got like the three and a half meter wide section there and it does bring it into the middle and then a baler on the back it's bait that's exactly what we did in the boulder canyon hardcore series so it, it does work we, we know that you can do that uh, but it doesn't look like there are any other real options for you for doing anything similar it's a bit unfortunate but never mind uh so i don't know if that rake does work or not there are a couple of other rakes but i don't think any would Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.